The name of this theme park is a hatchet theme park. Uh, so to start off, we have our map. Uh, I don't know how to make one of those big maps because I'm a noob at the game, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, I have my ticket ready. Um, got the employees only thing, whatever. Uh, I got Rick's ticket salesman. There's one open spot left. Um, just put it in there, I guess. Here's all the tickets and everything. It says, yeah, it's okay, good enough, whatever. Um, then we move on um, into the actual theme park. Just look around, pretty cool. Uh, so we have the axe throwing game. Uh, here's the theme, birthday hatchet. Let's read about it. This ride relates to the book because Brian only had a hatchet with him on his birthday and uh, it would only make sense to add the axe throwing game uh, because it involves hatchets and like axes and stuff. Let's go ahead and put it back where it was. So pretty much in this axe throwing game, uh, there will be somebody selling uh, hatchets or axes or whatever. Uh, in this case, it's Josh. He's selling all the axes. So then you would take an axe, stand at the starting point, and then you would throw your axe uh, at one of the targets. Obviously the middle and the bullseye uh, is the best you can get. And you have the other outside ones, I guess. Uh, so that's it for the axe throwing game. Now we have the ginormous Ferris wheel that took me forever to make. Looks okay, but whatever. Uh, got the control panel over here. Turn it on and off. Uh, the pros and cons wheel. So, let's read about it. The pros and cons wheel. Um, the pros and cons wheel is basically just ups and downs. Uh, so think of it like climbing a tree. If there's a way up, there's a way down. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing as a Ferris wheel. Um, this theme relates to the uh, ride because Brian was always having ups like finally getting a fire and then downs where it would, uh, where the wind would blow out the fire that he just made. That took him like hours to make, but anyway. Let's put it back where we found it. And then pretty much on this ride, it's pretty obvious if you've seen a Ferris wheel before. Um, I cannot get in here, holy crap. So, you just basically just sit here, and then you'll be taken all the way up and around the Ferris wheel a bunch of times. In this case, or actually, you'll be going this way. So, there we go. Uh, moving on, we have the unexpected drop. Let's read about it. The unexpected drop. This theme relates to the ride because when you throw the ball um, at the target and you hit the target, uh, you get dropped straight into water. Uh, this theme relates to the book because uh, the pilot had an unexpected heart attack and uh, it made the plane actually drop straight into a pond water. Okay, so pretty much all you would do in this is you'll have like a bucket of balls over here. You'll have your standing point. You'll throw it. And then the person sitting up here, uh, if you hit the target, they'll just get dropped straight into the water. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah. 